or underage boys for that matter. You know, drive the mother batty and get access to the kids, right? I mean, that's, a, that's another form of it, you know, and, and it's just, it's, it's on and on and on. And yes, if they can put you in a mental hospital, get you to flip out and then commit suicide, then they win. What do they win? See, I don't think you've thought this through. What's, what happens when someone dies like Mary in San Diego? What happens? It gets counted to them as a satanic sacrifice to Satan. And they get a financial pop. They get money. That's why they do it. They wouldn't do it if, it, if there was no money motive. They wouldn't do it. But who's paying them? No one knows where the check comes from, right? Well, we, we know where it comes from. There are principalities and powers that are uh, invisible to this world, but these are the powers that run this world. The key uh, scriptures on that is Ephesians 6, as you probably already know. And, you know, there's really nothing different today than what happened to Paul back in the day. Um, You know, and it says this. Okay. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God at, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Okay, so Paul's identifying it as from Satan. He says, for we res- wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay, that's where they come from. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand uh, in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. In other words, have faith in the gospel, numero uno, all right? Above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. The shield of faith, in other words, through faith, quenches the darts of the wicked. So when they're stalking you, faith will just, here's what happens. Through faith, I've seen them get confused and distracted, and I've walked right right through them over and over and over again. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. That's what I told you, the Bible. Keep your Bible handy. Praying always with prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for the saints. And for me, that utterance may be given to me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Okay, so the gospel and faith and the word of God that we now have, you know, I mean, Yeshua is the word of God, obviously, uh, the word made flesh. Uh, that's what uh, John one calls him. But we also have the word of God in the Bible, which is Jesus, which is, you know, a physical manifestation is the Bible, how it got uh, put together, the way it got put together. Uh, the Lord used corrupt people to put together his word. Um, Every nation is run by corrupt. There's nothing but corrupt people on this planet, okay? So if God uses someone, he's using a corrupt vessel to get something incorruptible. Okay, you wonder if they were so powerful, why didn't they just outlaw the Bible then? Since it does help people get through this mess. Why didn't they just outlaw it? You know, well, give them time. They've tried to, but they haven't been able to. Well, why is that? Because there's another force that's working in the world. You know, when I started realizing that I'm an American... Just recently, I think it was the music that brought that about, you know, that I do American music. In the end, I'm an American composer, you know, um, an American musician. But I realized that uh, I had an American spirit in me and that that spirit wasn't a, a, I didn't see it in people in other countries. And it's definitely something in the blood. And the Lord told me, You know, because I was ragging on the United States. I mean, because, you know, the big obelisk in Washington, D.C. is a big, you know, it's a big hard on for Satan is what it is. Basically, it says this nation is beholden to Satan. 
So, I mean, I've been taking issue with that, you know, I, way back in 2002, remember doing Satan's penis. I don't know if I still have that audio <laughs> or is it up there? It may be up there. I'm not sure. But Satan's being Frankie's got all this stuff. Maybe I'll upload some of the choice things to the classic Z department of the website. But, um, you know, I've been on this topic for the and on this whole gang saga for, for years, for years. And now I'm turning to, you know, Dr. John Hall and I'm going to do another uh, talk with Dr. John and um, and another guy that in other words, I'm going to start bringing more and more guests on dealing with it in the natural OK, I'm going to I'm going to balance out the spiritual aspect by bringing in lots of people that are finding evidence using YouTube and all that. That's very important. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that's that's tremendously important. I'm going to start putting a lot of guests on that have this and, and some that may not be you know believers who are relying more on the network of people in the underground to get them free. But, you know, freedom is a spiritual thing. You know, freedom is your soul set. Everyone's a slight born a slave here, you know, anyway unless Yeshua sets you free. But the timing of that is his, not mine. I can't make you believe in him. I can't, you know, I'm not one that goes out proselytizing. I don't do that, you know. And when I'm when I move to speak, I speak. When I'm on my own, you know, bully pulpit here, I speak. But um, what happened is the Lord was telling me, you know, take the good with the bad. Don't throw all of America out. And that's what kind of, you know, steered me off because you'll find just two or three years ago, I was just ragging on America myself because I was uh, definitely so disappointed. And, you know, and at one point I thought America was Mystery Babylon, which turned out to be false. But I mean, I went through this whole process of blaming um, the country and I had plenty of help from all the leftists. And they were saying, yes, Z, you got it. Tell the truth, Z. And it was all propaganda. But I worked my way through it. The Lord said, you don't throw America out. Watch. It won't go all one way. It won't be all. It's, it's like there's good and bad forces working back and forth here. So for when a bad force is coming forth, there's a good one opposing it. You know, and that and that, when the Lord kind of opened my eyes to that reality, I realized there is no like doomsday tomorrow. I mean, you know, it could be. But the, the fact of the matter is you're seeing these forces. Um you know, sort of battling it out over our own souls. You know, in a sense, everyone's stalked because uh, the devil wants a decision from you one way or the other who you're going to serve. And then there are people that are just made, you know, by Yahweh, for Yahweh, and, you know, that's known. And a lot of times they, they get killed in uh, childhood. You know, through accidental things. Some accidental thing happens. But, I mean, anyway, he told me, don't throw out the baby with the bathwater, you know, that, yeah, the, the, the thing about reforming America, the whole sort of Masonic brotherhood thing of, that has a grip on Washington, DC, you know, that, that needs to be exposed to light. But, you know, there is an American thing that is of God. And, and he shown me that, you know, gradually, but I had, I was so full filled with anger because, um, you know, I didn't do anything wrong. You know what I mean? And my life was just basically ruined for what reason? For what reason? You know, it was ruined when I was 18 years old. My lot, my entire life was ruined and I was told to commit suicide because there's no hope going forward. I'm just going to suffer because of this issue, what you call being a TI or whatever. Okay, fine. You might as well kill yourself because it's all going to be bad from here because we're the only ones who, you know, get to succeed. So therefore, um, gang stalkers rule Hollywood. But see, what I call them are covens that run Hollywood. And I know whereof I speak. And they're also at war with each other. And they're the ones you have to be beholden to one coven or another to, you know, and, you know, to be of service to, say, someone powerful in order to then you know, become a movie star or a rock star or something like that. That's the way it's done. You know, you prostitute yourself uh, for that purpose, but you have to, you have to be in, meaning you have to do spiritual prostitute. You've got to pass through to the other side, or even if you, you know, forgive me for saying this, but even if you try to F your way to the top, it won't work unless you're in, unless you pass through, unless you publicly, unless you commit the sin unto death. Um, and a lot of people who have done this, I mean, there's, there's two categories of this, the sin unto death 
is a sin which can only be committed if you know the word of the Lord and then you purposely say the word of the Lord is the word of the devil and that the uh, devil is really the Lord. I mean, that's, you've got to make that crisscross to pass through to the other side. And you need, to, you need to state that publicly in a ritual format and, you know, there'll be sex involved or some way of, you know, self-corruption or personal humiliation they'll do to you to, as, a, as a, you know, as an initiation rite to put you through, whether it be, you know, sodomizing you or well, who knows? They may have you, you know, kill somebody. <laughs> Yeah, what well, something like that. Perversion, uh something, you know, to where they would have something on you, of course. You know, they they'll have videotape of that. So you ever get out of line, they'll threaten to uh put that on national TV. Most politicians, uh, they've been compromised that very same way. And they're told you can keep your job, but just, you know, you'll have gentle cues from us and you'll take those cues or we'll ruin you. And that is the problem with America, period. There is no other problem with America. That's the main problem with America right now. Now, other nations have had the same problem with corruption, and they've grown through it. You know, man is still corrupt. Man's heart is wicked. So he, he, he does this to people. But again, um, you, you know, the question becomes, well, how do you clean it up? Because you're going to deal with a gang stalking. You're dealing with the very um, art form of the satanic. You're dealing with, the, with one of the tools of the satanic that's been here for thousands of years. There's nothing new about gang stalking. Uh, it happened with Moses. The people that worship the golden calf, you know, he went up to the mountain 